today we are at the uh, ACO head office uh, here in Paris with Michael Vass. Michael Vass, hello. Hi, Kahima. Thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us from uh, Singapore, I guess. That's right. 13-hour flight. You are in the process of launching a um, new program titled Leading the Brand Experience. Can you tell us more about that program? Yes, it's very exciting. Accor has partnered for the first time with Gallup. What Gallup does very well is they, they study people and they have great statistics on um, how human beings behave and how they make decisions. And that's going to be key for us to work with them. And of course, then you, you have Accor, which is a great company to work for globally. But it's also great then to merge these two strengths and come up with something spectacular. So the Leading the Brand Experience program is something we're going to deliver to every single one of our luxury upscale brand general managers across the world. So we're talking more than 350 plus people going through the program. And one of the reasons we chose Gallup was they were the provider that came to us and said, we can make sure that every single one of your luxury and upscale hotels does this consistently and we can deliver this across six sessions. So that's exactly what we've planned. Six sessions, six cities, six exciting destinations and some of our beautiful luxury hotels. Um, and we're creating content that's very, very exclusive to Accor. So what is your wish? I think it's just getting everybody to embrace uh, that leadership culture, embrace the training program. And it's not so much focused on the tools because you've got a great bunch of tools in the world today. But it's more about how do I as a leader go and use that? How do I push the right button? How do I create the right management action plan? What am I going to do to inspire people to create that great brand experience? So it's more about, it's not really about the tools, it's about how to use that toolkit. Thank you. Thank you. After Michael Vass, we are about to have Jim Clifton and Sébastien Bazin vision about the guest experience. Hello, Sébastien. Hello, how are you? You are the, I'm fine, and you? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you are the CEO and the president of Accor Group, and you, Jim Clifton, you are the president and chairman of Gallup. I heard you just met each other. Can you tell us about that? Go ahead, Jim. <laughs> well, yeah, we, <clears throat> we're, uh, we're working on a project together with uh, Sebastian and his teams uh, to uh, try to figure out all we can about uh, upscale and luxury brands. And um, I've been learning a lot about uh, Sebastian's uh, leadership theories about that, and I'm, and I'm very impressed. What is actually your, your vision uh, of uh, so-called luxury and upscale brands segment of, for our car? I think the industry has changed dramatically for the last, uh, at least for the last 10 years which means that I guess the clients today are more and more knowledgeable from the differences between different brands, from different experiences, which means that I guess they're asking for much more. They don't need for people to answer the questions. They actually don't want to ask the questions. So you need to anticipate the needs from any client and certainly into the luxury brand segment. Do you have the same kind of uh, vision or what is your vision? There's a really popular theory right now about how people make decisions. And, and the theory goes that 30% of the decisions we make are rational. Man and woman are actually rational. 70% is emotional. That's why it's so important for Sebastian and his team. The, the, the economy hotels, people tend to make those decisions based upon economic reasons. Money, place, and then points, the special games and all that. But as you go to upscale and luxury, all that goes away and it's only about the 70%. So his, the, the institution of leadership here that serves the luxury brand is going to have to get real good at the emotional economy because that's where all the low-hanging fruit is. Do you agree with that? I am actually going further, and I think Jim agrees as well. We, in the luxury segment, I think it is 90% emotional. Yeah. And only 10% is rational. Mr. Clifton, I hear you study more than 40,000 leaders. What are the most important behavior you noticed uh, from the best of the best? I think the best of the best are masters at human relationships. At some point it just all comes over to the people and you can't really, it's indistinguishable the brick and mortar of let's say uh, uh, of, the, of the, very the very best hotels and I think the people that extend that relationship the best are the ones that are going to do the, uh, the that'll win in the future. How will this uh, partnership with Gallup uh, be beneficial in line with the new uh, uh, luxury and uh, upscale brands? What we want to do is we want to take everything that we've learned and everything that we've learned here and not unlike, TQ, not unlike TQM or quality, mm -hmm. we want to take those particular themes and then get all the general managers aligned. And so it's highly effective 
And so, so uh, it's a lot like Moneyball, just improving the probability that they have to win more customers. So tell us, what do you expect from Gallup? Guidelines, a methodology, truly so. You can be very good, very efficient if you know what you're doing. Uh, we know exactly the way we should be operated, but we also know that like, the clients are expecting for more. So it's just those times when you need to reflect, sit down, take your own breath, understand who you're competing with, because we all comp we're all competing with somebody else's. And you know what? I believe we can be as good and probably better. But the only way we can get there is we need to be as equipped as they are in the understanding of the market. I call that market intelligence. One last thing, Mr. Bazar. Do you have any message um, you probably want to communicate to all the leaders watching us? Well, I have two messages then. You're going to be going through this leading the brand experience, which is three attached difficult world, leading, brand and experience. And I need you to be the best at what you're doing. The second message I have for you, which is a very crucial one, I happen to be the boss of Accor. All of you, a general manager, you happen to be the boss and the only boss in your properties, i.e. anything that's going to be happening in your hotel is on your shoulder, in your hand, under your own responsibility, which is why I need you to be at your best because I'm depending on you on every day-to-day -day work and I'm depending on you on a core reputation on this upscale luxury segment, which please understand, this is a segment at which Accor did not pay enough attention for the last 20 years, and I'm making an immense commitment that Accor has to be the perfect and the best operating segment because we could and we're going to do it. So we wish you the best. Uh, thank, thank you, you okay? very much. For thank this new much. partnership. Thank you.